Ooh, I haven't filmed a video in a long time. So what I'm gonna be doing today, I'm gonna be giving you guys an update on my channel, my life, what's been going on, future of my channel. But to do that, we can't do that here. Um, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go somewhere else. Oh, so I've been putting this off for a really long time, but I felt like it was finally time I give you guys a proper update on what's going on, why I haven't been filming so much, and what I do plan to do filming-wise, because YouTube, like, it's a fun thing. Back, like, say, two, what was it? Like, two years ago when I used to film videos consistently, like, I enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun. And, like, it was just a great experience, you know? Building my fan base, connecting with people, even getting sponsorships. And then my first major sponsor when I was... 15 and I don't know like it, it was just a great experience and I really liked it and so for those of you who don't know the main reason that I stopped filming consistently was because I took up diving and the reason I chose to start diving competitively was I'm concerned about my future I mean I don't know if concerned is the proper word but like I already had the flipping background from trampoline that made me think you know what like I could do diving like I can make this happen so that's what I chose to do and I practice 15 hours a week so every day Monday through Friday, 3.15 to 6.15. Like, it's a lot, and it takes up most of my time, so that's the biggest reason why I don't film anymore. But there, there's more to it, there's, there's a little bit more. I'm sorry if this video is awkward or boring to watch, but it, it's an update video, so that's kind of the point of it. Just keep you guys posted. The few of you who do decide to watch this, because I know, I've like, my viewers have fallen off. I don't get as many views anymore, and that's kind of what happens when you don't post for at least a year, probably more than that. Like, ah, it's cold. Oh, this is awkward, man. I don't know what to say. I haven't done this in so long. So, we found ourselves in some garage. It just seems like a cool place to film a video like this. Which is also kind of transitioning into the next point I wanted to make. I don't want to stop YouTube. Like, I genuinely enjoy it. It's a fun thing. I've, yeah, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. But the thing is, I'm kind of done with trampoline. And I don't know, kind of saw this coming. I'm sure some of you guys may have too. Say, two, two and a half years ago, I was 15 years old. You know, flipping on trampolines, making videos like that. Like, that was fun. That was appealing to me. But. I've gotten older. I'm 17 right now. I turned 18 in six months. Like, I'm about to be an adult. Just kind of crazy to think about. And, like, my aspirations have changed. I don't really, I'm not into the same things anymore. I mean, sure, I still do flips. Like, I dive, if you consider that flipping. But my main passion now is cars. I guess the biggest reason why I haven't necessarily started filming my, uh, my car videos, if you will, is because I have a 2014 Mini Cooper Countryman, and as fun as this car is, no one really cares about it. Like, it's not a, it's not like a car that you can post videos about, and people will be like, "Ooh, I want to watch videos about this guy and his Mini Cooper." You know, like that's not that doesn't really happen. I don't know how I can reiterate this, but like, it's a lot of fun. But it's just not like a YouTuber car or something that I can work on and tinker with. So for the past couple months, I've been in the process of trying to sell this car. But then I got in an accident on New Year's Eve. I don't even know if I posted that video. I probably didn't, honestly. That's what I'm like. This is what I'm saying. Like I'll film these trampoline videos, and I never get around to posting them or editing them just because like it doesn't interest me as much. Like I'm not gonna sit down and devote say two hours of my time to just like putting something together that I'm not too passionate about. But cars, on the other hand, like. I care about this, like this is fun for me, I really like it. And like if you're close to me, like my friends can attest to this, this is all I ever talk about. Like all I ever talk about is cars, my girlfriend knows, probably thinks I'm crazy because all I do is talk about cars. I don't talk about the car that I'm buying next, what I'm about to do to it. And I thought, you know what, I talk so much about this to my friends, why not share it with an audience? And I already have an audience, sort of, I've kind of lost it. So that kind of leads me into my next point. Do I keep the same channel or do I start a new one? I don't know, because I already have what? <sighs> Like, like that's cool, that's cool. I wanna do that. So I think I have like, what, 159,000 subscribers right now. Mm, move the camera a little bit. Oh God, it's cold. I didn't think it was gonna be this cold. And now uh, there's a fool coming up. Oh, it's his car. He's in the garage, that's cool. So what do you think? Keep this channel or start a new one? Do you guys like the idea of me starting a car channel or? changing the theme of my channel. I think it's definitely something that'll keep me, not only keep me occupied, but it's something I'm genuinely passionate about. So the car I'm buying next, I don't want to spoil it. I will tell you, it's a very fun, pretty well-known tuner car. Like a lot of people, a good amount of people have these cars in the YouTube community, in the car community. It, and it's just like, it's a lot of fun. P people are known to work on them, do a lot of stuff to them. This car on the other hand, no, not, not so much. No, not really. So you might be asking, why didn't you just get that car in the first place when you when you bought your first car? Biggest reason was I didn't really know how to drive when I first bought the car. I bought this car before I even had my license. Like I bought it when I had my permit, which was stupid. Like looking back at that now, I dropped. Mm, 
call it call it twenty thousand on this car, which is a lot of money. I was sixteen years old, and I was like, you know what? I want a car, and like I had to pay for insurance and everything too. So I was like, hmm, what makes sense? From a practical standpoint, like this is a good car. It gets good mileage. You know, it's it's fun, but it's I'm, I've outgrown it. You know, time for something a little bit different. And I remember, say two years ago, when I was like really interested in flipping, I would just sit there, look up videos of people flipping. There's like flipping YouTubers. Like that was my thing. I'd watch that, and I thought, you know what? I like this. I want to do it for myself. And I did. And I, I'd say I was semi-successful. And then I stopped because uh, I, I I already explained that part. But now I found something else that I'm passionate in. I spend countless hours on car sites, like on, on forums, just reading, getting to know different people, talk about their cars, watch car YouTubers. Like, I don't know if you guys know the Stradman. Like, he's probably my biggest inspiration in this. Like, I just see him like traveling the world, driving all these crazy cars. And I'm like, you know what? That's cool. I want to do something like that. And like, this is fun, but it's not a project car. And I guess the like the theme of my new channel or keeping this channel on. I'm leaning towards keeping my current channel and kind of just like reestablishing a new audience, if that makes sense. It would be like, like a build series, you know? Like there are YouTubers that will buy these cars and like engine swap, new turbos, like just like fiddle with the engine, like throw tunes at it. It's just like, like I like the idea of that. Obviously I probably wouldn't swap the engine out. I don't have a, sh I don't have a ton of money to burn. So I don't make videos anymore. Like, like, it's just, I'm pretty sure you guys like can understand where I'm coming from. Maybe, maybe a little bit. But I just wanted to touch base, give you guys a little bit of an update. It's been too long since I filmed a video at all. And obviously I still have practice every day, so I can't film as much as I did before. But I would say maybe like at least two or three videos a month. Like that's a start, right? And then I work from there, I work from there. Okay, I think that's good. Ugh, my hands are cold. I didn't think it was gonna be this cold today. Um, so what do you guys think? I've lost my audience and I, I accept that, it makes sense, but I'm I'm genuinely committed to starting up again. Like, I, this is something I really want to do. Maybe even land some sponsorships, like someone to help sponsor my build. Like, I'm passionate about it. This is something that I really care about. Cold, 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 cold. So I guess time frame for me getting the next car, I'd say less than a month. I, I'm already talking to potential buyers. It's a bit of a complicated process because I'm financing the car, so I have to like pay it off first and then get the title, and it, it's just like a kind of a headache. But it's something I care about. And the fact, like I've put a lot of effort into this and like having a car, driving every day, it's just like, it's, I don't know, like some people are drawn to it. I enjoy it, like it's just a lot of fun. I'll try and raise people on the streets when I can. I lose 90% of the time just cause this car literally is like 120 horsepower, like it's stupid slow. I go to car meets, perfect, like literally last night, I went to a car meet and people were drag racing. Like it's just fun, like that's what I that's what I enjoy now. Okay, I think I'm rambling. You, you understand, you kind of get what I'm saying. I'm sure the guy over there with that car I don't even know what that is. Like an Evo, some is loud. We're like, what the hell is this kid doing? Like, what, is, what, what you doing there, buddy? So if you guys do still watch my videos, to like maybe the couple thousand of you who still always click on my videos, first of all, thank you. You guys are the real ones. You guys are the true subscribers. I love you guys. And if you follow me on Instagram, I have talked about this a little bit, like on my stories. Like I'll be like, okay, I never really sat down and made a video to connect with all my viewers or my viewers, my my fan base. Oh, S7. Nice, nice. Oh, see. Sick, sick, man. Like, I see this stuff. I see cars like that. And I'm just like, damn. Like, I want a car like that. Just like, have fun with it. And, like, it's fun. This is fun. But it's not, it's not fast. Eh, I'm kind of tempted to show you guys how slow this car is. Like, my zero to 60 time is probably upwards of 10 seconds. Which, <laughs> it's so slow. It's so slow. We'll punch it. I'll punch it for you guys. Ready? Oh, oh. Wow, dude, what a pull, sick ass speed. One more. Eh, it's fun, it sounds good. And if you guys have me added on Snapchat, like you'll see I post car stuff all the time. Like yesterday, perfect example. I went into Delaware with my mom because she wanted to get a new car and picked up Porsche Cayenne. And like, like that would have been a cool video, I feel like. I'm trying to think if I miss anything. I had this all planned out in my head. I had so much I wanted to say and I started rambling and I lost track of what I was trying to say. I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you guys know what's going on with me. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is something, like you think it's a good idea. Whether or not I decide to like film it, it's still something I'm gonna do, like no matter what. Like I'm gonna have a car, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see, I'll keep you guys posted on there. And like no matter what, I'm still gonna be posting a bunch about it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. If you guys stuck to the end, you're a real one. 
the realist, the realist of the real. Right, 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 right. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, so the car I am getting is it's not crazy expensive. Like I'm not breaking the bank buying it, but like there are a lot of problems with it, and it's an expensive car to own. And I think like a YouTube series, if you will, of a 17 year old owning a car of that caliber. Just like working on it, like talking about the expenses, like what it's like to have it. I think that'd be cool, a little bit different. Like you see these crazy YouTubers, millions and millions of subscribers with these supercars, and they're like, yeah, like bro, this is my supercar. But they don't really like highlight the maintenance standpoint, like or like what it's like to have it really, you know? They just like flaunt how fast it is or how cool it looks. But there's like, there's, there's more to the car scene than that. And that's really, like that's the part that I'm passionate about. Okay, I've said enough. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. If you guys stuck at the end of this video, you're awesome. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.